What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Isabella Terrace Road, back again. I'm going to hit you with your monthly reading. Thank you so much for all of the likes, shares, subscribes, love donations. You guys are greatly appreciated. I am currently accepting personals. Um, the only way to book with me will be in the description box below this video, along with my Patreon. On Patreon, there are three different tiers. Um, the first tier is the energy readings of the day. The second tier is Bell's Book of Shadows. And the third tier is where you get your 10-minute personal and all of the above. Make sure that if you get the third tier that you send me a message to Patreon with your name, your birthday, and the topic of choice for your reading or, um, you know, if you want a general. Just let me know. Anyways, we'll go ahead and jump into the energy around you guys for January of 2022, you guys, all right, or whenever you see this video, is clearly when you might see it, but the song was Wide Open Spaces by Dixie Chicks, okay? Uh, the energy of the day reading that I had done over there on Patreon earlier was talking about, it seemed like a road trip, like y'all are probably in this energy of road trip, but in that song, I kept saying there's something going on with the car. Check the oil, like check the oil. For some of you, you need to get your oil checked in January. All right, um, I'm not completely sure what happens if you run out of oil in your, you know, in your car, but I don't think it's good. So I feel like you should definitely focus on making sure that your vehicles are fine tuned, especially if you are, you know, taking any kind of trips. Be very cautious. All right. Um, but we pulled self reliant, big money, and don't take no for an answer. I feel like you will be in a situation or something may take place in your place of employment in January where it's like, I feel like you work with a group of people or around a group of people. I feel like you're the one who puts in most of the work. I'm getting, you are an overachiever, so I, it makes sense. I feel like there is definitely that energy around you where I feel like you may get a little, I heard overheated. So for some of y'all that car, check that fucking car, all right? Overheated. Um, somebody's car may overheat, which I don't see how because it just went from 80 degrees to like 30 freezing. So I don't know. There's something going on with the vehicle in January. Just pay attention. But I'm definitely getting the energy coming in where he may work with a group of people or with several people. Um, I feel like you've been putting in more of more than your fair share of work. I feel like uh, some of you are going to be definitely needing to talk to your I heard advisor. Some of you may need to talk to advisor, but I feel like there is something about you need to be compensated for what you're putting in. I feel like you are not being fairly compensated in January, and I feel like you are going to be um, put in a position to where you're going to get a little upset, <laughs> possibly where you see somebody come in um, and start, I feel like somebody may get hired where you're working and end up making the same amount that you're making. I feel like you are going to end up going to the boss and having a serious conversation. That's what I'm seeing for you guys in the month of January to where you're just like, no, um, I know this person didn't just come in and is making the same as me or $2 more than me. It's something. It feels like something. It's making more than me. And I've been here for how long? I feel like you're literally going to be getting very clear with a boss or someone who is in authority of what you are not going to put up with. I feel like you may have laughed it off in the past, but I feel like there's something about you are being overworked and underpaid in January. And I feel like you're definitely standing up to the boss, okay? Um, <laughs> standing up to the man, okay? Um, we got Libra that I saw tried to pop out. Okay, I feel like you may have literally been putting up with the situation for quite some time. I feel like you were trying to let somebody come to the conclusion on their own uh, that you were the right person for the job or the one who needed to be more like I feel like there's something about you've been putting in more than your fair share of effort. Okay, in January, I feel like you're becoming a little fed up. Not even going to lie. All right. I feel like you are literally um, giving somebody an ultimatum as well in January, okay? I feel like you have, I'm getting something about planted feet in the sand as well. Once again, on that energy of I said what I said, all right? Um, January, I feel like you are literally um, <laughs> demanding a raise is what I'm seeing. I feel like you may have possibly also been put in some kind of position that has, um, 
left you wounded in some kind of way. I feel like for some of you, definitely be taking the precautions in regards to your career um, and protecting yourself if you deal with any kind of her knives. Deal with something, anything sharp or just, you know, I just feel like you need to watch out for mishaps in January, all right? Just take the extra precaution in January, making sure that you're protecting yourself and your assets because I feel, I, I keep getting something about workers' compensation, Okay, I just keep getting, you You have not been fairly compensated for as much work that you've put in. And some of you may have suffered some form of injury because of this. I feel like you're going to be definitely going to the higher ups and demanding your fair share of something in January. Okay, and it feels like finances and resources. Okay, for some of you, you're like self-reliant. You've been the one putting in all the efforts in your place of employment. You've been the one who has been picking up everybody else's slack. And when I say slack, some of you work with two other people. Some of you work with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six people or five people, okay, five other people, and you're the one doing all the work, okay, I feel like, <laughs> I heard, I think the fuck not, okay, so some of you are becoming enraged um, with the fact that everybody's putting it on your shoulders to do because they know that you will go above and beyond, okay, um, I feel like you don't have any problem doing something, but you want fair compensation, you're like, if this is a one-man job, only one man needs to be getting paid, motherfucker, okay, I feel like that's literally the energy that you're in, you want your rest recognition in the month of um, January and I feel like if you don't get it you're literally walking away from a certain situation closing out a cycle some of you are needing to leave a job and this was what was called for for you to make that decision to move forward okay um, I feel like tempers are going to be flaring very high in the month of January I feel like you need to try to temper that shit <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie um, for some of you, I feel like there has been some kind of spiritual battle going on. Um, somebody's been trying to come for your finances. Just letting you know. It's like somebody here who has constantly tried to put themselves in competition with you. Okay? Judgment's being called on that situation. All right? Judgment is definitely being called on that situation. I see somebody here who um, is finally going to speak their piece, whether this is you or someone else. I'm definitely seeing that there is going to be some level of closure that happens. Like, it feels like a conversation. We've got nine of swords out here and ten of swords. Like, I feel like there has been some kind of, I heard, hateful communication that's taken place. Somebody's mentally all over the place because of some kind of conversation. You may have really said something that's hurt somebody deeply. They can't let it go. I'm getting sleepless nights. For some of you, I feel like you felt very warranted in what it is that you said. I feel like this was also you standing up for yourself. I feel like they weren't worried about you when they had, you know, hurt your feelings. I feel like there is somebody here who is acting like a damsel in distress, like, oh, poor pitiful me, you've done all this to me when they were the ones who was pushing this in the first place, okay? All right, I'm getting something about settling a score, okay? I'm getting something coming through about somebody settling a score in the month of January, okay? Um, I'm also getting this is the final straw, okay? The, the final straw, all right? I feel like you're being celebrated in your place of employment, though. I feel like for some of you, um, you're literally standing up for yourself and I feel like you are getting that recognition, all right? I feel like you are no longer going to be some kind of doormat, okay? For some of you, I feel like that's been some kind of um, test that you've been going through to not um, do everybody else's job for them. <laughs> uh, I definitely feel like you are... Um, pulling yourself back. For some of you, I feel like you are getting a raise, okay? But it's because you're demanding it. Um, you're not going to just allow people to keep putting all of their work onto your plate and you do it. I feel like you're literally standing up for yourself in January and I feel like you're going to start getting paid for your, <clears throat> not accomplishments, you, you're going to get recognition, first off, for your accomplishments. Um, because I feel like you've been holding this back or holding this in to where it's like, festering this is something that's been like you you i'm seeing steam come out of your ears all right i feel like that is really 
something that is pushing you to go after it, okay? There's something that you were meant to go after for quite some time. It's either shit or get off the pot, okay? I feel like some of you were wanting your work to speak volumes for you so you didn't have to say anything. Um, no, nah, you had to say something, okay? Because they was going to keep just, oh, yes, that's great. You know, I feel like you're really getting, oh, the team has done great. Y'all's team is amazing. And it's like you're the one doing all the work and everybody over here is getting the same. Oh, no, no, no. Like, you stand up for yourself in January. And I see you definitely reaping the rewards by yourself. You know, I feel like there is that energy of that is not, they didn't do this shit. I did this shit. Okay. Okay. Taking no for an answer. Like, I feel like somebody, um, get some kind of award. It's almost like somebody was awarded something and you're like, they didn't do that. I did. Okay. Um, I bet if you was to ask them to do it again, they couldn't do it. Okay. I feel like there, you may have been in a situation where, um, in January where, um, there's somebody here who has been taking advantage of you, who has been, you know, showboating and showcasing your work. All right. They haven't done the work. I feel like you may literally sit back and watch them. Like I'm seeing you literally sit in a chair with your feet propped up, looking at an individual like, no, you said you did this. Do it again. Okay. Um, I'm getting something about someone's performance here is not up to par or they can't I heard you want that that uh TikTok. You want to hang with the big boys. You want to young kitty kitty. I don't know what the hell they say, but you know there's somebody here who uh can't actually hang. They can't actually do the work. It's somebody here who is unqualified or unfit. That is being exposed in January. Somebody is unfit and unqualified. All right. I feel like you're letting this person hang themselves. All right. I feel like there has been some kind of drama in the workplace or around the certain situation where you have pulled yourself back and you're like, no, nah, I'm gonna let you do this yourself. You, you say you got this, you got this. Okay. Um, I feel like your judgment is definitely being called in a certain situation. If you were in competition for a certain position at your place of employment, you're getting that in January. I feel like you're kind of laughing. It's like you're going to be able to laugh about this or you will laugh about this a little bit later on. I feel like right now you're not seeing it as funny. I feel like you're in a very serious standpoint, um, but I feel like you're also in January going to see some kind of accolades is what I'm hearing, but some kind of... Um, <sighs> financial rewards because of you standing up for yourself all right let's get you an angel oracle mm. so there we go angel oracle for the virgo okay past life issues the situation has a basis in one of your past previous or one of your previous lifetimes ask your angels to help you remember release Learn and heal from past experiences. I feel like you have done this song and dance before. Mm-hmm. Um, it's almost like a situation keeps repeating in your life. It, it, it's repeating in different ways, but it's still to where you will, you know, pick up the slack for someone else. You'll be the muscle for all other people. Um enough for them to fucking shit on you. I feel like that is something that you are having to come to terms with um, and start to not only allow yourself to do only your what you, what you, your workload <laughs> uh not to take on other people's baggage because i'm seeing virgo you have the ability to do it all okay i feel like you're a perfectionist you're a little bit of a perfectionist i'm seeing it here okay um i feel like you are definitely calling judgment on a situation you're putting something to rest okay um dry and desolate like i feel like you're realizing there's nothing for you in a certain situation um you're over giving to situations that will never bear fruit i feel like you are pulling yourself back from that i feel like you're also getting very clear with what you will and will not accept for the future i feel like this is a cycle that you were meant to um to handle and i'm feeling like you're excelling at it in this time in january i feel like you're being able to put this to rest you're literally uh, moving through something that you continue it's like every every lifetime you are hit with the same um situation uh, i feel like you've 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 handled enough or it's like you've taken enough you're not taking it anymore okay i feel like you're definitely putting something to rest calling quits to a certain situation and demanding what it is that you no is rightfully yours anyways that's what i'm seeing for you guys thank you so much don't forget to like the video and i'll see you guys later bye